So what we're going to do is we're going to look at your palms and have a few volunteers, victims, sorry, volunteers, I always slipped into that one, and we're going to have a few people up on the screen here. But to say a little bit more, the palm lines are created by your brain. They got there not by accident, by the program. So if you've got a program running on your software, which is here, your hardware is here. Okay? So basically speaking, one belongs to the other and speaks to each other, a bit like a computer. So what I'm doing is I'm being a computer analyst of the hand. Makes it sound simple now, doesn't it? Now I have fear, can I still do it? Well, of course, if you practice enough at anything, you can do it in almost any situation. So let's get somebody. And the lady was laughing at me in the front row, and she's now trying to get a drink. That's just not on. So we're going to pick her. I'm going to come down and meet you. Don't stoop. Don't you move now. No, you run out. I've had people run out before. So stay put. I'm coming down. No steps. Steps. That's good. Right. Okay, let's come over. We've got a microphone for you in a minute, because you'll be sitting on that chair. What's your name? Sue. Sue. Is your first name Peggy? Peggy Sue? Okay. Right, this is Peggy, this is Sue. Right. Okay, you're going to come up and let's have a look at your hands. Oh, you've got some nice bling on there. That won't stay there very long, will it? Okay, come on. Right, come on, Sue. Come with me. It won't hurt, as I said to my girlfriend the first time. Right. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to now pass your hand on there. I'm going to take that horrible person off. Okay, and I'm going to give you a microphone if I can find it. Now, please don't swallow this or do anything else with it other than talk into it. And you hold it about here, unless you're a spice girl. Right? Thank you. Okay. Are you happy with that? Yes, thank you. Good, you're not going to run out on me. No. Thank God for that. But you know, the first one's normally so nervous, I get so nervous watching this. Right, we're going to put a hand on the screen. So, would you like to put your hand? You might have to shimmy up a little bit and stick your hand in the middle, face down, that's palm down to start with. Oh my goodness, it doesn't even fit the screen. She's got big hands, isn't she? Right, she's got a little face reader. Okay, we're now going to do a little jiggery pokery with this. Oh look, oh there we are. Now you can see your hand, can't you? Right, but you keep it still. We're going to do what we call a freeze. Right, now what I would like you to do is wave to the audience. No, the other hand. Look. Ah! I've caught a soul. A soul is on the screen. Right, let's read it very quickly while it's still there. I've got to find another gizmo now to point. You can all see your hands now, can't you? This is going to be lovely. Do you want me to dish the dirt? You really want me to? Okay, let's go for it. Okay, right. Stay put, don't you move. All I need is a yes or a no. Is that okay? Yes. And I've got something on you, look. Oh, okay, look. Look, see? Here we go. Can you see all that red mark? Here we go. So watch me. Watch the red mark on this side. I'll run over to the other side and do it as well. This little finger on this person on Sue's hand indicates she likes her own space. And my goodness does she like her own space. She does what she wants to do when she wants to do it. She's not going to be beholden to anybody. If you say no, she's going to do it. Yeah? What do you mean, yeah? It's your best friend talking. She yeah. Look, your best friend's dishing the dirt. I don't have to do it. Right, okay. Let's have a look at the thumb. The thumb has got... Look at that bendy thumb. Look, bendy thumb. Can you see the bendy thumb over there? Look, there it is. And it bends back. This person's argumentative. They don't need to argue. They just can't help it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See, look, she's doing it around. I haven't even paid her. <laughs> right, so look. We go on here. This means this cut-back thumb is like a little chisel. Can you see her knuckles there? Is she been a prize fighter or something? Is she been knocking people out? I've got arthritis. <laughs> Well, so have I now. <laughs> right, so what we've got here, let's have a look. Oh, we've got an index finger, we've got a thumb, that's good. Index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and a little pinky. Right, do you know what the little, little pinky was called? Auriculus finger. Do you know why? Because it was used for clearing out your ears. Yeah, I know she does. Yeah, but we're not going to ask her to do that in front of you. Okay, well, <laughs> at least she uses the right finger. Now you behave yourself. Right, now the ring's in the middle here. This middle finger here, when you wear a ring in the middle finger, this means to everybody here, you may have mother issues. There are difficulties sometimes around your mother, maybe your best friend, but you're definitely somewhere not going to get on or something. No. Is there anybody here with, with a ring in the middle finger? Put your hands up. Well, there's all your friends, look. <laughs> They're like you. And you have had some, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, a little bit of... And are you still talking or did you have a time? No, 
left if you like. She's not here anymore now. Though. I know, we but even when she was here, you, you didn't talk no. sometimes. You used to fall out periodically. It's in, it's in people's programme, it's in their family. So at least we've got that right. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the hand again. And let's have a look at. Oh, she's got a ring on this finger too. Is that your left or right hand? Left. Okay, you've got one on the right hand as well, haven't you? Yes. Oh. Do you know what that means? It means you're dead nosy. It means you're in Nosy Park with everybody else's stuff and want to know about their relationships. Not that they've done bugger about yours. And it's just a matter of fact, how about my friends? What are they doing? How are they getting on? And you're just so nosy, it's unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, just like your mother. Right, okay. I didn't mean that. And we have here a curve index finger. Can you all see the curve on the index finger, everybody? It curves in. It's like a boomerang. Right? You haven't been to Australia, have you? And it fixed. No, that's arthritis as well. <laughs> is it? Well, it would have thrown you back anyway. Right, so that means that she's a bit of a collector. She collects a lot of junk and she knows she yeah. does this. And stuff in the wardrobe that's been there for years. If you leave it there long enough, it'll come round again, don't worry. Yes. All right? Yeah. But you know you do that. Yes. And shoes and handbags like coming out your bloody ears. <laughs> oh, dear. Why is it? What's time in? Yeah. What do you say? Look, her friend, you're going to be next. <laughs> All right? If you give it chat, you're going to be next up there. Right, here we go. Let's have another look. Um, let's see. What else can we tell you about this person? It's not arthritis. You have got a bent finger. And the middle finger is also slightly bent. No, that one is. The ring finger's bendy. Look at that. Look, can you see where it just turns a little bit? Look at that long index finger. Can you see it's longer than the third finger? Do you know what that means? She's a bossy cow. And she knows that. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. I'm going to get your friend up in a minute because actually this is like a double act at the moment. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> right, so do you really want me to shall I do it to her? Yeah. Good, hand up her microphone and get her up. What's her name? Peggy? Ali. Ali. Nearly right. Ali soon. <laughs> right. Come on. Quick, quick. Come on. Get those feet moving. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, right. Now you know what to do. You've seen it done. You're an expert. You put your hand on there. We've got to say goodbye to Sue. So everybody, would you like to say one, two, three, and, I, and you're all going to say, goodbye, Sue. Are you? Hang on a minute. One, two, three. Hang on a minute, I can't do it. Okay, I can do it. Yes, I can. Uh, I've got to do that. Oh, yes, she's gone. Right. And who is this? This is... Use the microphone, it helps. Say, goodbye, Sue. Are you? Hang on a minute. One, two, three. Hang on a minute, I can't do it. Okay, I can do it. Yes, I can. Uh, I've got to do that. Oh, yes, she's gone. Right. And who is this? This is... Use the microphone. It helps. <laughs> Ali. Okay, Ali, put your hand on the screen. Please. That was a big please. Right, okay. Now, you often find friends are similar or worse. Right, take your hand off. Okay. You ready for this? Uh, what, yes or no? No, she's right. Okay. Want to change your clothes? Okay. Right. Let's have a look at this. My goodness, look at this hand. The thumb is so close to the hand, which actually means, believe it or not, she's quite shy. You wouldn't believe that tonight, would you? She, she's come up, and look at her friend going, yes. She's shy. Oh, no. Yes, of course she's shy. What are you doing there? It's about time you've got some new trousers. You've got holes in there. Right. Now, let's have a look at the fingers. Oh, yes, she's got a thumb. That's good. Oh, she's got a thumb like her friend. It means they will argue about things. And they do sometimes. Oh, I beg to differ. No, I don't think so. Oh, no, I don't believe that. You do argue sometimes. You know you do. Not very often, but when you do, I'd like to be a fly on the wall. Right, here we go. Index finger's fairly long, but that's almost the same length as it. She's not quite as potty. She's actually easy, more easy going. But you see, somebody has to lead and somebody has to follow. The trouble is when they both have a drink, they both want to lead and they both argue and fall out. All right? That's what happens. Look at you laughing. I know I've been there. I've seen it. In my head. Oh, she's got a ring on that finger as well. Is that your left hand? Yeah. You got one on the right hand? Yeah. You're not as nosy as she is then. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Dish the dirty. Oh, yes, you are. You can be. I know you can be. This one's going to get you. You see this little finger down here pushed down in the hand and you've got a little turn at the top? This means you big it up. You do big it up. You don't tell the whole truth some of the time and you do big it up. Oh, come on. Yeah. Well, of course, for a fact. But you do big it up. Right, let's really dish the dirt a little bit further. That little ring finger there is called a what? Pinky. Come on, pinky. Right. That little finger's called a pinky. All right, don't use the other word because it sounds awful, ridiculous. Okay, don't be ridiculous. 
And here we are, we've got the seven finger, it's very padded at the bottom. Now, these people, when they get large pads on the bottom of their hands, I'm sorry to say, they really do tuck into their food. <laughs> and it's not because they want to eat, it's because they want to keep up with you. Right? So when these people go out for food, they do it big time, they go, oh, I think we've eaten too much. <laughs> and it's usually the case, isn't that right? Yeah. You can use the microphone. Okay, don't eat it. Okay, right. Okay, and we've got here the little fingertip and the wide nails. Now, wide nails indicates order. Now, she's got square fingers. Square fingers at the top show order, so she's going to be fairly orderly. The thing is here, she is so forgetful, she forgets the order that she was about to put on place. So sometimes she literally goes around going, I've lost my list. I've lost my list. Where's my list gone? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And she'll write another one and then find the first one. And she won't find us any resemblance between the two lists. Alright? This is the way her brain works. How do I know that? Because the fingers are the way they are. So if you've got fingers which are fairly wide, it shows that you are a person that sometimes can be quite forgetful. Now how about you, you people who've got other things? Let's, let's sort of talk about you as well. Let's come back to uh, this lady here just for one more bit. Uh, and then we'll go and put it out to the audience. See this little bump here on the side? I'm just going to show you over here. The audience looking at this bit. Right, can you see that large bump on the side here? This is known as your mousy. It's just to do with your passions, it's to do with the way you connect with people. And if you are in a pub or something, girls, if you like to sort of use the chat up line, you say to the guy, can I look at your mousy? <laughs> you might get slapped around the face, or you actually make sure you things you don't want to see. But if you're a girl and you do that to a bloke, then it's not particularly nice sometimes. But the guy might actually like to look at yours. And if he does, and you've got one of these, it means you're extremely passionate. So the time you've actually looked at her mouse, she's probably clasped him around the neck and said, come here, give us a kiss. All right, because she's that passionate. And she's hiding her face because she knows she's like that. All right, this is called dishing the dirt with palmistry. Okay, we don't want to dish too much or she'll hate me for the rest of time. So let's do something nice and gentle. You see her hand is nice and round. It looks square, but in fact, we can put a, we can put a whole circle around it. And that's the same one there too. If you get a whole circle around your hand and it's full, you're very community-minded. In other words, you like doing things for others. This lady is so good at raising money for charity. She's done some charity things. She's done some runs. My goodness, you should see her. <laughs> but she's still finish. All right? She's raised some money. She's done a few things like that. I mean, stuff with pubs and clubs, things like that, the things that she has done stuff in the past. Is that correct? Now, her friend's saying, yes, have you got a voice? She goes, yeah, yeah. Do you know, when you get partners together, and I hope there's a couple of people here tonight, a man and a woman, hopefully, um, and it's quite funny looking at each other and talking to each other, because the other person's answering the questions. Isn't it funny our friends do the same? They're not even married! And yet they're answering each other's questions. Okay, well let's see if we can get from the ridiculous to the uh, more important. Okay, last bit here. Your middle finger, now this middle finger is long compared with a lot of people. And I see thousands and thousands of hands. When you see a long middle finger, there it is, that one there, the middle one, it means they can be extremely serious. Now you get her on the wrong day, or the wrong side of bed as she gets out, she can be extremely grumpy, and she's actually grumpy until 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Okay? She seems to come alive after that time, and then for the rest of the night she can party okay. But people with a long middle finger are often very serious. Now there's one other thing I didn't tell you. I, I knew there would be somebody. Oh, come on. If it's my mother, tell her I'm busy. <laughs> it's about to be the box, isn't it? The person who should know better. You wait till I get his hands. Right. I'll show you a thing or two. Right, the middle finger, back to that. Long middle fingers can be very serious, but they often believe in a higher power or some weird stuff. Now, you get her on her bit of stuff, like, the, you know, aliens or whatever she thinks about her angels or stuff like that. She just doesn't stop talking. Because she seems to be an authority. But basically, she's only read one book. <laughs> what was the name of the book? Oh, come on. It's true. Well, it was... You better go before we do any more. Go on, give her a round of applause, everybody. We're going to say, poor lady.